Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to kill 40 to 45 crocs, 6 elite and non elite tigers and 18 to 20 elite panthers in one pull. This pull is basically the easy version of Zeger's 20 pack pull and even still it's gonna take you quite a bit of time to get used to. This pull is gonna take you somewhere between 13 to 15 minutes depending on how many arcane concentration procs you get. The panthers have 21,000 HP while the crocodiles and tigers have 9,000 HP. The XP everyone gets depends on how many people are in the group and what level they are. So this is a rough estimation of how much XP everyone in the group is gonna get with a plus or minus of 1.5k XP. So if you're boosting one person, he's gonna get around 38,000 XP. If you're boosting three people, they're gonna get around 22 to 23,000 XP per run. I want to make a small announcement of a giveaway that I'll be doing. So I don't know if you guys remember, but back when I had 800 subscribers, I promised everyone that if I hit a thousand subscribers within seven days, I'll be equipping the T-Boost Blazing Longsword. And I reached 1000 subscribers within 12 hours of the announcement, and I kept my promise of equipping the 10k gold. Now I make a new promise. If I hit 10,000 subscribers within 14 days of this video's release, I'll be giving away my second T-Boost Blazing Longsword, which is basically 10,000 gold in my server. Even if the winner is not from NA servers, I'll find the T-Boost in whichever server he's on, if that's what it takes. So let's see how it goes. And by the way, all my add-ons and recoils can be found in my Discord server, link in the description. And also, I found out about a new safe spot that players can stand on to get all the XP recently, and this safe spot does not require a level 60 maneuvering mobs around. So if you kill mobs in the bridge, anyone who is in this spot will get XP, and I've tested this, so you can give it a try. So let's start the pull by going to the starting spot. Now there are many ways to get to the starting spot, but this is the way I choose, and it does cost one light feather, but I still prefer it. Now this clock started ticking as soon as I entered the instance, so you can use this to refer to how long this pull is gonna take. Now this is the talent build that I'm using and there are many variations to this but these are the talents you want to have, absolutely. Now we can only start the pull after the berserker has crossed this path so while we wait let me recommend some consumables you can bring to this run. Light feathers are an absolute must, you need to have this. Noggin fuckers are not necessary for this pull but you can bring some because if you get lucky you might get a slow fall off the bat and it might be cheaper than a light feather in your server. Lips and iron grenades are highly recommended since these can help you turn a bad situation into a good situation very quickly. Now I always bring lips because I always use them at the end of my pulls just to be safe but you don't need to. And I also keep a couple of swim speed potions in my bag for bad weather because you never know when you may need them. Now these are the gears I'm using for this pull. I am a bit over geared and I do have the T2 5 set bonus which does make the pull very easy but you can definitely do the pull without the tier 2 set 5 bonus. Now that the berserker is starting to cross the red zone, I'm going to use both my shields, mana and frost shield, and mount up and pull the first two packs of the run. Make sure you do not get hit in these first two pulls because you will need the full absorb amount of your shield when you're pulling the tigers. Now be careful when you cut this corner because if you're too close to the berserker you might end up pulling him and then it's a 100% wipe. Now when you get here, wait for the crocs to get a bit closer and then we're going to pull the third pack which is the tigers. Now pull the first group of tigers, come to this spot, then maneuver around and now we're going to take all the tigers and run them around in circles until they are tightly packed. And this is really why you need your shields here because if the tiger hit you and you don't have your shield on, there's a high chance that you might get dazed. And if you get dazed here, uh, you cannot do the 17 pack pull anymore. But maybe you can uh, recover and finish the 11 pack pull though. Now that I have them tightly packed, I'm going to start moving them up this route. And then I'll bring them to this position. And I have to make sure that they do not intersect any other packs of mobs while they're coming to you. Like this pack over here. If they do intersect any other mobs, they are going to pull them and that is going to be very bad for your pull. Now we're going to pull the mobs down here away from the berserker because just for the same reason I said before, if you pull the mobs through the berserker, the berserker is going to get pulled. Now we're going to start running here and make our way to the fifth and sixth pack that we're going to pull here and these are going to be the panthers. Now just body pull them 
and they might spawn in packs of three or packs of four so there's really a lot of rng in play here now we're going to go inside here dismount and pull the seventh pack with a counter spell now as soon as you counter spell make your way up the stair to pull the eighth and ninth pack pull this with the fire blast and then blink let the other mobs catch up and pull this with the rank one arcane explosion jump down here now this is a safe spot so the mobs will stop chasing you when you're at this spot but don't stay here for too long because you might end up resetting the whole pool now here pull the 10th pack and make your way down the left here now the berserker should be going the other direction if the path timings are correct and here use a light feather or spam your noggin fogger and make this jump now we're going to pull the further pack of crocs with our counter spell and then blink to the right just like you'll see me do here and now we're going to refresh both our shields and freeze this pack of crocs here and we're going to refresh the shields to make sure that we do not get dazed here because getting dazed here would be really bad now this is an example of where using an iron grenade would be really useful if the mobs are getting too close just use a grenade and you have a lead now now when you make this turn in the corner jump to this root and blink through the tree and when you jump on the root, make sure you have a mana shield on because sometimes the fish in the water might daze you. And now here we're going to pull the 13th pack with a counter spell and make our way down here. Now I am trying to bait a slow fall proc here because one slow fall proc can save you two light feathers. So once you make this jump, blink and jump over the bamboo here. Then get ready to use a rank 1 blizzard on this pack. The 14th pack. Now I do end up getting a slow fall proc as you see here and once I get to this spot and my blink is off cooldown I will use it like this. Now here I don't know why even though I didn't have to I ended up using a light feather slow fall anyway wasting it even though I had a 2 minute slow fall long infogger buff. Anyway once you hit the water blink as soon as possible and if the fish starts chasing you, make sure you freeze it because it can do a lot of damage and daze you in the water. You do not want to get dazed in the water. Now I did reset my kill track add-on here because I ended up killing a toad during this pull and obviously that does not count. Now if you made it this far, congratulations because now we are at the easy part of the pull and we are about to finish pulling the last 3 packs, adding up to an overall 17 pack pull. Now when I pull this pack here, I'm going to go left and take the lip approach which means i will be using a limited invulnerability potion for this run now as you can see since i got a slow fall from my noggin figure i do not have to use a light feather here also make sure to refresh both your shields here blink and freeze this pack cold snap refresh your shields counter spell the other pack and use a lip here once all the mobs are stacked use a frost nova and anything else that got resisted just turn around use a rank 1 cone of cold and you're good to go change to mage armor and run to the bridge now when there's a soul flare here when you're about to cut this corner just blink here and you won't pull the soul flare now i am a bit low on mana here but that's okay because i have both my mana gems up and i have evocation now if you have experience with the 11 pack pull you already know what's going to happen here and you do the exact same thing now let me show you the spot where i jump up and down in the bridge this spot over here now the spot might change depending on what race and gender your character is and you just have to find out and discover that by yourself now i do end up getting very unlucky here with the arcane concentration procs so it ends up taking me six minutes to kill everything here so let me just compress six minutes into one minute of footage so you don't get bored Now when you finished killing all the panthers, 
you have to jump down into the water and get to the safe spot between the roots because the blood drinkers are unkillable, so we have to reset them. So when you're on this safe spot, just wait a couple of seconds and after you leave combat, make sure you don't aggro the blood drinkers again because they will be there and you just have to let them despawn. Do not aggro them. And that's it. Here's a list of everything I used and killed here. And now if you want, you can watch me loot. And at the end of the video, I'll post the clip of me getting a Myrmidon Signet during my stream. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Also, a big thank you to all the patrons who support this channel. Fuck! Dude! The mobs disappeared, it took so long to kill them. No! Oh wait, is this good? Is this good? 100 gold? <laughs> hey!